I'm Tasneem Rock. Um, my mother is Margaret Rock, she's from Scotland, and my father is John Rock, and he is an ethnic Karen from Burma. Um, Burma has uh, eight uh, major uh, ethnic groups, but there's 134 different ethnic groups within Burma. My father came to Australia um, in the late 1960s as a student on a scholarship and he is an ethnic Karen from Burma. My parents met uh, at Sydney University um, a long time ago, not too long ago, um, and apparently my, my dad tells me it was love at first sight. And while he was there, there was a lot of uh, disruption in Burma and his family told him uh, not to come back. Up until uh, quite recently, there was a military dictatorship and they had a very very bad record of um, uh, basically targeting the, the ethnic groups with, within the country. The government doesn't see uh, land belonging to ethnic minorities um, as, as being legally theirs, so they feel it's their right to uh, take that land. The military has a, a history of invading ethnic villages, taking people as porters, um, and that brings up a whole uh, bunch of other issues. Um, I mean, not not um, not just the fact that they're, they're actually taking people as forced labour, but the Burmese military also has a really, really bad reputation um, of systemised sexual assault and rape um, of the ethnic minority. Even though at the moment it seems like Burma is heading towards a democracy and changes have been made, um, it's prime for foreign investment. The revenue from that foreign investment isn't being given to health or education or, you know, it's supporting the, the actual country. because we are geographically in Sydney, I didn't have a lot to do with the Korean community. So it's been really wonderful for me to, um, for my family to be more involved with the community through uh, Korean New Year. So for the last 10 years, I've been the English speaking MC for Korean New Year. On this special and blessed day, we wish the entire Korean people and all the people of the country to have unity, peace, prosperity, and well-being of the mind and body. Australia is actually getting quite a large Burmese community um, in Sydney, in Melbourne, in Perth, uh, and a, quite a number of those are Karen. A, a number of uh, refugees who do come, and I guess in inverted commas, illegally, because I'd like to point out that it's not illegal to seek asylum. Um, but they, you know, I think, you know, more recently you do hear of um, some refugees from Burma uh, coming from, um, you know, coming by a boat or this this kind of thing as well. But, you know, my experience is that um, the people that I've met, they've come through a, a lengthy process, um, legitimate pro process, I guess. <laughs> My understanding of the culture is through Karen New Year, but I'd like to understand it better. I'd like to understand the language better. I'd like to be able to speak the language to um, explore the Karen community in Sydney and to understand the journey that they've taken and understanding the situation that caused them to become refugees in the first place. At the moment, the climate here is very... Uh, I think it kind of demonises refugees, and I think that if we can... Uh, educate people to have more empathy and understanding, I think that that would be really, really beneficial. Yeah.